Greetings. In this video we are talking about Oceania. But before this, let me ask you, to subscribe my channel, and like this video. Oceania, is a geographical region that is described as a continent in most parts of the world. There are a total of 14 countries and 9 dependencies in Oceania. Nauru, formerly known as Pleasant Island, is an island country and microstate in Oceania, in the Central Pacific. Nauru, is the third smallest country in the world, behind Vatican City and Monaco, making it the smallest republic as well as the smallest island nation. Nauru is a phosphate rock island with rich deposits near the surface, which allowed easy strip mining operations for over a century. However, this has seriously harmed the country's environment, causing the island nation to suffer from what is often referred to as the resource curse. Its population of about 11,000 is the world's second smallest, not including colonies or overseas territories, after Vatican City. Yaren is capital of Nauru. It is located in the south of the island. Most of the island's residents are indigenous Nauruans. Nauru has no protected areas, no world heritage sites, no rivers, and just 18 miles 30 kilometers, of roads. Nauruans consume a large amount of seafood, as well as foods made from coconuts and pandanus fruits. The main religion practiced on the island is Christianity. The official language of Nauru is Nauruan, a distinct Micronesian language. This island consists of a number of beautiful sandy beaches, coral reefs, and lagoons that provide comfort, activity, and excitement. It's a very exotic place. If you ever be ready to spend a lot of money to come here, it will be maybe the most unique experiences of your lifetime. Palau is an island country in Oceania, in the Western Pacific. The Republic consists of approximately 340 islands and connects the western chain of the Caroline Islands with parts of the Federated States of Micronesia. The Republic of Palau, a tropical archipelago in the Western Pacific, is renowned for its matchless island scenery, pristine dive sites, and world-famous natural features, including the forest-tufted rock islands and surreal jellyfish lake. The most populous island is Koror, home to the country's most populous city of the same name. The capital Nagurulmud is located on the nearby island of Babaldeo, in Melukuk State. The population of Palau is over 18,000 of whom 70% are native Palauans, who are of mixed Melanesian, Micronesian, and Polynesian descent. Filipinos form the second largest ethnic group. Other Asians and Europeans account for the minority groups. Indigenous religion is Modenge, religion of powerful ancestral and nature spirits, was supplanted by Christianity, brought by missionaries. Slightly more than half the population is Roman Catholic nowadays, over one-fourth is Protestant. Palau's official languages are Palauan and English. Both are taught in schools and practices in the democratic government system. Although today's generation is fluent in English, many older Palauans speak Japanese or German. This tiny country has lots of activities and attractions to keep. Diving is Palau's biggest drawcard, and for good reason. This western Pacific archipelago boasts an amazing mix of pristine reefs, vertigo-inducing drop. Palau has small population, but the people here make the place livable and memorable. Local Palauans are friendly, helpful, and extremely humble. What country are you from? Let me know in comments. Marshall Islands is an island country near Guam in the Pacific Ocean, slightly west of the international date line. Geographically, the country is part of the larger island group of Micronesia. The country's population of over 60,300 people is spread out over five islands and 29 coral atolls, comprising 1,156 individual islands and islets. The capital and largest city is Majuro. The Marshallese are of Micronesian origin which is traced to a combination of peoples who emigrated from Southeast Asia in the remote past. The matrilineal Marshallese culture revolves around a complex system of clans and lineages tied to land ownership. 
Christianity has been the main religion in the Marshall Islands ever since it was introduced by European missionaries in the 19th century. The government generally supports the free practice of religion. The Marshallese language, also known as Aben, is a Micronesian language spoken in the Marshall Islands. Spoken by the ethnic Marshallese people. The Marshalls is one of only four atoll nations in the world and is also one of the world's youngest nations, independent since just 1986. The Marshall Islands form a nation of scattered atolls and remote islands, which are known for their marine life and diving opportunities, grand lagoons, beautiful beaches, friendly locals, and being one of the best places in the world. The Marshall Islands is one of 22 countries without a standing military. The U.S. controls the security and defense of the Marshall Islands. It also rents out the Kwajalein Atoll as a base and missile test range. A number of islands are off-limits due to U.S. military presence. Samoa is a Polynesian island country consisting of two main islands, Savai and Upolu, two smaller, inhabited islands, Monono and Apalima, and several smaller, uninhabited islands. Samoa is located 64 kilometers or 40 miles west of American Samoa. The Lapita people discovered and settled the Samoan islands around 3,500 years ago. They developed a Samoan language and Samoan cultural identity. Samoa is right next to the international date line, which goes between American Samoa and Samoa. This means that if you fly to Samoa 30 minutes away, you will actually go back in time 24 hours. The capital and largest city is Apia. It is located on the central north coast of Upolu. Population is over 225,600. Western Samoa, the first small island country in the Pacific to become independent, signed a treaty of friendship with New Zealand later in 1962. Western Samoa joined the Commonwealth of Nations on 28 August 1970. While independence was achieved at the beginning of January, Samoa annually celebrates the 1st of June as its Independence Day. Christianity is the official and largest religion in Samoa, with its various denominations accounting for around 98% of the total population. The Article 1 of the Constitution of Samoa states that, Samoa is a Christian nation founded of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. The temperature in Samoa is typically tropical and generally constant during the entire year with little seasonal variation due to Samoa's near-equatorial location. Samoan people are especially proud of their heritage, culture, and traditions, and they love showing it to others. Especially when you venture outside of the populated areas you'll find the locals to be very generous and light-hearted. The Federated States of Micronesia is an island country in Oceania. It consists of four states, from west to east, Yap, Chuk, Pohnpei, and Kasre, that are spread across the western Pacific. Together, the states comprise around 607 islands. Palakur is the capital city of the Federated States of Micronesia. It is situated on the northwest side of Pohnpei Island a high volcanic island surrounded by a fringing coral reef. The Federated States of Micronesia's total population is over 114,700. There are eight main indigenous languages in the Federated States of Micronesia. English is the official language of the government and of commerce. Religion in the Federated States of Micronesia is separated from the state by the constitution of that country. Freedom of religion is guaranteed by the state. Most of the people here are Christians. It is a little slice of paradise in the Pacific and a perfect destination for a trip. It is rife with natural beauty. The pristine cerulean seas and vast tropical landscapes remain largely unscathed. The climate of Micronesia can be described as a typical warm, tropical climate with two different seasons. Family, religion, sharing, and hospitality are important parts of all significant Pacific islands of Micronesia cultures. Lep, Wen, Tokia, Sape, and Keper, Pohnpei. The unique dances you can see only here. Oh, and of course, like everywhere in Pacific Ocean, the diving here is great. 
Solomon Islands, is an island country, consisting of six major islands and over 900 smaller islands in Oceania, to the east of Papua New Guinea and northwest of Vanuatu. The UK granted Solomon Islands internal self-government in 1976, followed by independence on 7 July 1978. At independence, Solomon Islands joined the Commonwealth with Queen Elizabeth II as its head of state, represented by a governor-general. Honiara, is the capital and largest city of Solomon Islands, situated on the northwestern coast of Guadalcanal. Population is about 732,300. The Solomon Islanders comprise diverse cultures, languages, and customs. 93% are Melanesian, 4% Polynesian, and 1.5% Micronesian. English is the official language, however, about 120 vernacular languages are spoken, including Solomon Islands Pidgin. The religion of Solomon Islands is mainly Christian, comprising about 92% of the population. The islands and waters are still a little-known pristine paradise. They are particularly special for their remarkable biodiversity, containing thousands of different plant and animal species, especially the marine life. Many species are known only to the Solomons. Headhunting, the practice of preserving the decapitated head of an enemy after he or she is killed, has been a well-documented part of history in ancient Melanesia, including within the South Pacific island nation of the Solomon Islands. Today, Solomon Islanders present their traditional cultures through dance and song in villages, on church, provincial and national occasions, at family and customary events. New Zealand is an island country in the southwestern Pacific Ocean. It consists of two main landmasses, the North Island and the South Island, and over 700 smaller islands. It is the sixth largest island country by area, covering 268,021 square kilometers or 103,500 square miles. Wellington is the capital city of New Zealand. It is located at the southwestern tip of the North Island. Population of New Zealand is almost 4,936,000. New Zealand has three official languages, English, Maori and New Zealand Sign Language. English is the predominant language and a de facto official language of New Zealand. Religion in New Zealand encompasses a wide range of groups and beliefs. Almost half, 48.6%, of New Zealanders stated they had no religion. Christianity remains the most common religion. Also, there are Hinduism and Sikhism practicing. New Zealand has climate zones ranging from subtropical to subantarctic. The climate is heavily influenced by New Zealand's location in a latitudinal zone with prevailing westerly winds and by the surrounding ocean. It is also influenced by mountain chains that modify the weather systems as they sweep eastward. New Zealand is a land of great contrasts and diversity. Active volcanoes, spectacular caves, deep glacier lakes, verdant valleys, dazzling fjords, long sandy beaches, and the spectacular snow-capped peaks of the Southern Alps, Ka Tiri Tiri o Te Moana on the South Island, all contribute to New Zealand's scenic beauty. If you're looking to lose yourself in secluded, sandy beaches, thermal springs, towering mountains or colored lakes, New Zealand is the place to go. Papua New Guinea is a country in Oceania that comprises the eastern half of the island of New Guinea and its offshore islands in Melanesia. At 462,840 square kilometers or 178,704 square miles, Papua New Guinea is the world's 54th largest country and the third largest island country. At the national level, after being ruled by three external powers since 1884, including nearly 60 years of Australian administration starting during World War I, Papua New Guinea established its sovereignty in 1975. It became an independent Commonwealth realm in 1975 with Elizabeth II as its queen. It also became a member of the Commonwealth of Nations in its own right. Port Moresby is the capital and largest city of Papua New Guinea. Population is almost 10,330,000. The fragile health system in PNG is underfunded and overwhelmed, with high rates of malaria and diabetes. 
PNG also has one of the highest rates of tuberculosis in the world, with an estimated 30,000 new cases per year. There are nearly 850 languages spoken in the country, making it the most linguistically diverse place on earth. The most widely spoken language is Tok Pisin, an English-based creole, serving as the country's lingua franca. The predominant religion in Papua New Guinea is Christianity, although traditional rituals of animism and ancestor worship are still prevalent in various areas of the country. Papua New Guinea is one of the most heterogeneous nations in the world. There are hundreds of ethnic groups indigenous to Papua New Guinea, the majority being from the group known as Papuans, whose ancestors arrived in the New Guinea region tens of thousands of years ago. The other indigenous peoples are Austronesians, their ancestors having arrived in the region less than 4,000 years ago. Papua New Guinea is home to 14 active and 22 dormant volcanoes that present a risk to an estimated 250,000 people. Tuvalu is an island country in the Polynesian subregion of Oceania in the Pacific Ocean. Its islands are situated about midway between Hawaii and Australia. Tuvalu is composed of three reef islands and six atolls. They are spread out between the latitude of 5 degrees and 10 degrees south and between the longitude of 176 degrees and 180 degrees. They lie west of the international date line. The Tuvalu Islands have poor soil and a total land area of only about 26 square kilometers, less than 10 square miles. The land is very low-lying, with narrow coral atolls. The highest elevation is 4.6 meters or 15 feet above sea level on Nialakita. Funafuti is the capital of the island nation of Tuvalu. It has more people than the rest of Tuvalu combined with approximately 60% of the population. Population of Tuvalu is about 12,000. The island of Tuvalu is an incredible travel destination in the world, be it due to its natural exquisiteness or cultural significance. Tuvalu is one of those dreamy islands in the South Pacific where in principle we all would like to retreat or go into hiding from the world during a holiday. Tuvaluan and English are the official languages of Tuvalu but English is not spoken in daily use. Christianity is the main religion in Tuvalu, with the Tuvalu Protestant Church and the Catholic Church being the largest denominations. The climate in Tuvalu is hot, oppressive, windy, and overcast. About once a year cyclones expose Tuvalu to high wind speeds, extreme precipitation, and storm surges, all of which cause significant economic and social damage. Fiji is an island country in Melanesia, part of Oceania in the South Pacific Ocean. Fiji consists of an archipelago of more than 330 islands, of which about 110 are permanently inhabited, and more than 500 islets amounting to a total land area of about 18,300 square kilometers or 7,100 square miles. Much of Fiji terrain is varied and its islands consist mainly of small beaches and mountains with a volcanic history. The two largest islands are Viti Levu and Vanua Levu. Fiji climate is considered tropical marine and is therefore mild. Suva is the capital and largest city of Fiji. It is the home of the country's largest metropolitan area and serves as its major port. Population is more than 915,000. Religiously, Fiji is a mixed society with most people being Christian, with a sizable Hindu and Muslim minority. Fiji has three official languages, English, Fijian, and Fiji Hindi. The Fijian language is spoken as the first language by most indigenous Fijians who make up around 54% of the population. Due to Fiji being comprised of predominantly smaller villages, residents are able to maintain strong connections with others living there, resulting in unbreakable ties and a tight-knit community like no other. 
Fijians often share childcare duties and ensure that the elderly are well looked after and respected. The faith has become a central aspect of lifestyle for people here. Fijian women generally organize community events relating to worship. They have many duties involving helping the minister run services and preparing food for after mass feasts. Fiji has always been known as a tourist dreamland, with statistics showing that three out of four visitors come for a vacation. This is because Fiji has a beautiful natural setting, with islands, reefs, bodies of water, national parks and marine parks, etc. Tonga, officially the Kingdom of Tonga, is a Polynesian country and archipelago. The country has 171 islands, of which 45 are inhabited. And the Southern Pacific Ocean. This archipelago is divided into three main groups, Vavau, Haapai, and Tongatapu, and cover an 800-kilometer, 500-mile, long north-south line. First inhabited roughly 2,500 years ago by the Lapita civilization, Tonga's Polynesian settlers gradually evolved a distinct and strong ethnic identity, language, and culture as the Tongan people. Nuku'alofa is the capital and largest city of Tonga. It is located on the north coast of the island of Tongatapu, in the country's southernmost island group. Population is 109,000. Tongan is a language of Tonga. Roughly 98% of the population there speak it as a first language. Christianity is the practiced by most Tongans and incorporated into daily life. The official state church is Free Wesleyan. The kind is the head of the church. Tongan society is guided by four core values, all of which combine to ensure a generous and genuine welcome to visitors to the kingdom. Feifakapapaki, mutual respect. Fevetokayaki, sharing, cooperating and fulfillment of mutual obligations. Lodatu, humility and generosity. And Tauhi Vaha, loyalty and commitment. One of the beautiful aspects of Tongan society is their emphasis on sharing. Tongans share stories, they share resources and they share their blessings with joy and thanksgiving. With pristine white beaches and an unspoiled natural environment, Tonga is one of those places that seems picture perfect. Despite that, it somehow remains off of most travelers' radars. Australia, officially the Commonwealth of Australia, is a sovereign country comprising the mainland of the Australian continent, the island of Tasmania, and numerous smaller islands. Australia is the largest country by area in Oceania and the world's sixth largest country. Australia is the oldest, flattest, and driest inhabited continent, with the least fertile soils. Canberra is the capital city of Australia. Founded following the Federation of the Colonies of Australia as the seat of government for the new nation. Sydney is most popular city in Australia. This vibrant city is known for its yacht-studded harbour, superb beaches, and the iconic opera house with its towering sail structure. Once a British colony of exiled convicts, Sydney has grown into Australia's most diverse and cosmopolitan city with an exciting food, arts and entertainment scene. Population of Australia is almost 26,354,000. Surrounded by the Indian and Pacific Oceans, Australia is separated from Asia by the Arafura and Timor Seas, with the Coral Sea lying off the Queensland coast, and the Tasman Sea lying between Australia and New Zealand. The world's smallest continent and sixth largest country by total area, Australia, owing to its size and isolation, is often dubbed the island continent. The Great Australian Desert is the fourth largest desert by area after the Antarctic, the Arctic and the Sahara. By international standards, the Great Australian Desert receives relatively high rates of rainfall or around 250 mm in, on average, but due to the high evapotranspiration it would be correspondingly arid. This is a place where kangaroo lives. In Australia, the kangaroo is a national symbol, appearing on currency and the nation's coat of arms. Images of kangaroo appear as part of many impressive organization logos, including the Royal Australian Air Force.
Extremely salty lake with unusual color is Lake Hillier on Middle Island. The lake's unique color is caused by algae, halobacteria, and other microbes. Isn't this is a wonder? You will find some of the most strikingly beautiful constructed buildings along with various snow-capped mountains, white sprawling beaches, million years old rock formations that will surprise you, islands of paradise and verdant tropical forests. This perfect balance makes it the most beautiful place in the world. Have you ever been in Australia? Let me know in comments if you liked it. Vanuatu is an island country located in the South Pacific Ocean. Vanuatu is a Y-shaped archipelago consisting of about 83 relatively small, geologically newer islands of volcanic origin, 65 of them inhabited, with about 1,300 kilometers, 810 miles, between the most northern and southern islands. Port Vila is the capital and largest city of Vanuatu. It is located on the island of Ifate. The population is almost 328,000. The overwhelming majority of Ni Vanuatu are subsistence agriculturalists, living in small rural villages where activities revolve around the land. The constitution guarantees that land cannot be alienated from its indigenous custom owners or traditional owners and their descendants. Rural areas are often remote and have limited infrastructure. Climate change threatens Vanuatu's food security and the country is particularly vulnerable to cyclones and other disasters. Rapid population growth has put pressure on health and education services, along with job opportunities. Baslama is the major common language that is used by most of the people of Vanuatu. Christianity is the predominant religion in Vanuatu. There are also several indigenous beliefs that are still followed in Vanuatu. Known for its gorgeously pristine coastline and laid-back feel, the Vanuatu archipelago is one of the premier vacation destinations in the South Pacific Ocean region. Welcoming and friendly, travelers to the islands always feel instantly at home, regardless of which of the islands that make up Vanuatu they decide to visit. Stunning landscapes, beautiful untouched waters, World War II shipwrecks, an active volcano, fresh seafood, award-winning chocolate, the world's only underwater post office, all this is here. Rich cultures, ancient traditions and ways of life that still today remain mostly untouched. Here we discover a lost tribe in Vanuatu, who have little use for Western culture. Their existence offers something far more rewarding and spiritually fulfilling. Oceana's Vanuatu, formerly the New Hebrides, is an 80-island nation without traffic lights, street postal service, or even a McDonald's. What it lacks in 21st century amenities, it makes up for with traditional culture. Vanuatu hosts some of the most remote and untouched bush tribes in the world. Vanuatu is prone to significant year-round seismic and volcanic activity, with associated risks of tsunamis. Kiribati is an island country in Oceania in the central Pacific Ocean. The state comprises 32 atolls and one remote raised coral island, Banaba. The island's spread straddles the equator and the 180th meridian, although the international dateline goes around Kiribati and swings far to the east, almost reaching 150 degrees west. This brings Kiribati's easternmost islands. Kiribati is widely recognized as one of the world's smallest and most isolated countries. Speaking of the scenic beauty of Kiribati, it has a storehouse of beautiful beaches. There is a lovely place for boating or sailing. Additionally, you can enjoy many atoll bikes or walking tours here. Seeing the lagoon here is also a memorable time in Kiribati. Here the immaculate white sandy beaches and waving palm trees will attract a distinct group of you, taking advantage of which you can do a photo shoot in this paradise place. South Tarawa is the capital and hub of the Republic of Kiribati and home to more than half of Kiribati's population. Population of Kiribati is almost 125,000. The people of Kiribati speak Gilbertese, also known as Kiribatis or Ikiribati. Christianity is the major religion in Kiribati. Cultural practices such as community meetings under the Maneba, 
traditional meeting house, to socialize and feast respect of elderly people. Guest hospitality and importance of family remain important facets in the culture of Kiribati. The local people are still leading a traditional life, who have a strong sense of personal pride. These people respect each other. People here are delighted to see the tourists coming here and welcome them wholeheartedly. In Kiribati, the weather is summer all year round. If you watch this video till this moment, I think you like it. So please like this video and subscribe my channel for more interesting videos. Let us know if this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and rate us.